testimony. Honorable John, a part of the Bugri has been my very, very close, very, very close confidant since 1965. The late John Aparbu in Debugri was born on 12 March 1950 to Mr. Ndebugri Azase and Madame Atumpiak Aliambugri at Tiamonde, a village in Zebila in the Boko West district. He was the second son of his parents among five children and one of the illustrious sons of the Upper East region. The boy's death is a loss to some of us personally and then a loss to the Kusasi state, to the Upper East region and to Madagana and to prosperity. I was with him in his very middle boarding in 1965, 64, 65. Mr. Indebugri started his education at the Tanga Primary School and continued to the Zebela Middle School. Uh, we passed common entrance together. I went to Navrongo Secondary School in September 1965. So we were classmates in Form 1 to uh, 65 to 70 when we wrote the old level. Then uh, we came back to C Form together. I came, I finished the C Form there. He had to leave Navas School to uh, Cape Coast to do prelims. And then later on, he wrote the A-level privately and then went to Kwame Kuru University of Science and Technology and did uh, chemical engineering, which they call today chemical engineering. He, he had become what one would consider as a moderate. If you know his background uh, from the PNDC days and his encounters subsequently with the PNDC and then the NDC. Um, I believe people were expecting uh, more radical personality in the parliament, but when he came, he joined the ruling party in the parliament. In Accra, al Haji Hamidu Abugri, Kusasi's chief, applauded the late lawyer John Aquarbon Dubugri for his contributions to the development of the Kosa traditional area and beyond. John Day, on the Ninkane, Zakusa Gela, Kabap and Testek Bang yet is in Golspe, the Pen was in an eye. Bim Pin Rollins time on the Teka Wagba, Yanga Palm region. Otum can kotuma the the card na pia so zina de awana la the board kosas nyang yi ka baban dunya bang ye o on kila on nintetar o me ana kosa se kat yi tia yi ka bang ye wai on kila o me monya ka de awana ka te pia ngi som te de dane te tena ming yan yas so the board it yi ka ni do bang ye o ni de kila after he left the university, Nde has demonstrated that uh, his intelligence level is very, very high. He's very, very brilliant. In 1986 or thereabout, Nde decided to read law. So he did all law and then was called to the bar in 1988. So he has been practicing as a lawyer since then. And those of you who have been listening to social media or following social media, will know how erudite his contributions have been in the social media, as far as legal issues are concerned, and also political issues. The firstborn of Honorable John Amparibon Debugri and the only female child in the midst of three boys. Daddy was a great father, a caring father, a loving father. He wouldn't mind doing anything for his children. 
He made sure he provided for us. He made sure our education was paramount on his list. So my name is um, Vladimir Akasim Bidibush. I am a um, second born but first son of late John All four of us were privileged to have called him our father. Um, the rest of Ghana knew him as John Day, the firebrand, the no nonsense man, the principal lawyer, the uh, uh, astute politician, uh, and so on and so forth. You know, all those positive adjectives you can use to describe any human being were certainly associated with him. But for us, I mean, we just knew him as our father. Uh, growing up, I mean, just as he grew up, he did not want to make us feel that anybody was entitled to anything. I mean, you had to pull yourself by your bootstraps to be able to make to get to the next level. John Day, I mean, in Kanaka, we should zap the Kusagela. We said, I know, said, I hope that man. If you are more that man, Pierre King John Day, son, we can't help us. Mammy, you know, Kazina, Mammy, you know, can I more sixteen years? Tam can I can sound ming back? Ka only Peter Tashi, you know, must a king perna. Can him sound sana? Sometimes yellow at the better tomb, Bassan. So John Day, Mammy, you know, Bacana, a bibi. John the Bibi was a very close friend. I met him in student days when he was very active in the National Union of Ghana Students. And eventually he ended up in Nigeria as a teacher. I remember in 1982 when uh, Rollins uh, made a coup and then they deposed Hillary Mann in the office. They was at that time uh, working in Nigeria. And uh, because of his uh, revolutionary exploits, uh, he was recommended to Rawlings, and then Rawlings brought him back from Nigeria and made him PNDC secretary for the Northern Region. Uh, to go on your summe, got a soon army, a billion and daughter, secreting a beak one in the water warm, coming to our set of pool one in the bonnet out to us in the summer. Can another set of levelings or Lena Su, Dunia Bomahala, PMG secretary for Northern Region in Tamale. So he was there in 1982. Then in 1983, he was uh, shifted to the upper region, that time, upper region, uh, they had never separated the upper west from the upper region. It was under the supervision that uh, Rollins created the upper west region. And he was very, very instrumental in the passage of PNDC Law 75. And they had uh, entered himself to President Rollins or Chairman Rollins. And they had taken the revolution <laughs> into his heart and, uh, and was a force to reckon with, such that even if there was a counter coup, they would bring Ndeye from Bulga to come and address a gathering in the crowd. Uh, they would tell him that they would crush anti revolutionaries and all types of people. So Rollins liked him. I remember when he resigned from the PNDC government. And he resigned with just a Peugeot 504. He decided to use that car to run a flower across Trotro to take care of the family. As he resigned as a minister, John Lebubu became a commercial driver, driving his 504 saloon car to and from Aflao as a means of earning a living and also as a means of showing solidarity with the drivers, you know, the GPR team that he joined and so on. That was the kind of pilot he was. Uh, nobody ever had a golden spoon in his mouth. We all went through the rigors of studies, went through difficult times, actually. Uh, there were times that we actually didn't have to, you know, uh, make sure that we paid our own school fees and so on and so forth. Um, they was a disciplinary. It did not, there was no favor to children versus outsiders or any such thing. Whatever he thought was right, it, that same principle applied to us just as it applied to other people from outside. So, John, I never remember you, Pa, Mampum Bang on a Halle 1976, Kamapum Bang John and Dabri. To me, what I see Musa, of a level car on a level young Piara Sira, of a body. Fair one come out of shield back or open for different local yoyalfre. 
ye bodin ka fama lara kasum ka na be kwala bulugut ankara pala wusa ko za so sai anya ba shir wusa or stand it ko za ko fa but bobin kan ya ta ka kenya wusa o is in a defensive fi yala pogol intesaf tana mi shi amla ko lai kwala la gar kin kulit yan lai kin ta yan ka wa ni ka wannan mai pala yello o no ben shi ila ko take na kai so when we mourn him we also have to give praise and glory to the god for giving us a son called uh, John the Parable de Bore, for giving him the energy, the knowledge, and the tenacity to fight the way he fought for social justice, not just for Kusazi, but everywhere. Uh, in the, during the political era, they joined the People's National Convention, PNC, and then the, um, he contested elections in Zebula, and finally won the seat in 2004, general election, and came to parliament. That is the fourth parliament of the fourth republic. He represented the people of Zebula. Mbiala impasse bi la mort bi la passe ko kenne eh John de eh biala ni o ma o ani big bergo amare ma me duna miu ka melen wo den ko tomates ko sa ndede te ya poete bi an o piere to ko yanga pom bi azina kare nai amare ana bon kan ko duna zap ko sa zabre o singene o naro sa fa azina so ana e wona bon so kata bon so de zikan ko ona be when I'm Ning was Yisong, Ka O Sulme, my Katamepa, Bikan, and Menaduna, Menatayang, Mekanemizi, and Kosakan, Ka Tenai, Miang, and Oko, my mamma say, John Day, Ongamela, when John Day time could have been. He made us self sufficient. He made us understand that we could not depend on him at all times. What he could do for us was to make sure that we got the best of education. So, guess the, we went to, quite frankly, went to some of the good schools in Manila. You know, and for him, that was all he could do for us. The rest of it, if you went to school and you went to go and do some stupid stuff and got yourself involved in some uh, problems of the sort, he was not going to come and get you out of that trouble. You understand? So that was the level of discipline with which we were brought up. And um, I think that to a large extent, it has actually helped us in shaping our lives to become who we, we all for us, each of us have become today. In the Bugri, on leaving the government, became an active advocate for the return to the multi-party democratic order. He first joined the Kwame Nkrumah Revolutionary Guards, where he became national organizer. And the Kwame Nkrumah Revolutionary Guard then built an alliance with the New Democratic Movement, the African Youth Command, and the United Revolutionary Front, which was then in exile. He started a vigorous campaign for the return to multi-party democracy. Indeed, this alliance, which was then called the Progressive Alliance, led to the formation of the Movement for Freedom and Justice, which was led by Professor Albert Edouard. I recall that it was in the degree uh, Kwame Riafi, Usu Juma and I, who persuaded the late Victor Usu to bring the Dark Obuzia tradition on board the new alliance, the new broad alliance. And to the four of us, we went to convince Professor Albert Edouard to become the national chair of the movement. In the course of the struggle for the restoration of multi party democracy, Ndebubu was arrested and detained. He didn't sway him, he continued to pursue the cause of, 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 of building a democratic order, and he sacrificed his all. He contributed significantly to the building of this new democratic order that all of us enjoy. Every Kusasi man uh, owes a lot of allegiance to Nde. And, uh, his death is a, a loss to all of us. And he was neither too, he wasn't too old to, 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 to have died. 72 years plus is not an old age. People are living up to 80, 90 years. And I wish they had lived for at least another 10 years and uh, or a few more years. But God knows better. Uh, everybody, God has sent us to this and given you a mission. And then if you are able to accomplish that mission, then he takes you. It has been a difficult six weeks or seven weeks since his passing. Uh, every day has been very difficult to deal with. In the Bugri, we will be remembered as a stalwart in that struggle. And his contribution would never be forgotten. He did contribute significantly to building a democratic state in Ghana. And we hope that his deeds will continue to inspire those of us who are still alive 
and people yet unborn to continue the struggle for liberating the working people of this country from the shackles of poverty, from the shackles of oppression, and from the shackles of dictatorial rule. May they rest in the land of peace. Today was a genius. A genius, fantastic. You know, he's a genius. He was way ahead of his time. I mean, uh, somebody who, at 72 years, his level of reasoning and the way he could understand contemporary issues, I can just say one word, he was a genius. The good Lord thinks that they has accomplished a mission. And that is why, on the 6th of May 2022, uh, they was called to, to glory. The was in Tela, Timie, Tisam, Tibir, John Aparu Ndebogur, on in Kalam, Ka Basil Dapsera, Karabene, on the 14th, 15th, 16th. On the 14th, Beba Male State House. They are eating a sick or more kuma mkulian kinswa. Largely through advocacy to bring governance and decentralization to the doorstep of the people, he played a key role in the division of the now Upper East and Upper West regions. He left behind a wife, Madame Ophelia Agosua in Double Green, and four children. I'm not going to do that. 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 I